Well, what is the secret to a long-lasting relationship? Taking time to holiday together, is it... Uh, well, that apparently is what supermodel Cindy Crawford says. That was in the Daily Mail, the UK this week. One in three marriages end in divorce. So, you know, obviously it's important to work at relationships to avoid becoming a statistic. So this morning, with advice on how to reboot the relationship, our uh, relationship psychologist, John Aiken. Good morning, John. Good to be here, Kerry Ann. When you hear something from Cindy Crawford, celebrity, her husband, uh, Randy Gerber, is a, a businessman, runs a lot of bars and hot things. After 11 years, they're going, we are so happy. Yes, and I guess uh, being on a luxury yacht like that, it does make uh, things a little easier. It's easy to be happy on a luxury yacht. <laughs> exactly, but they'll be doing things together that essentially make their relationship very solid. Uh, it might be that they uh, schedule in important time together or they argue very well and manage their conflict really well. Mm -hmm. There are other celebrity couples, and we, it's easy to poke fun at celebrity couples when they're happy on a luxury yacht together, because it's not the mundane things that you argue about, kids, money. Um, people like, um, well, the people who aren't married, who have still been together a long time, uh, Susan Sarandon and Tim Robbins, for instance. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they've been together a long time. He's eight years older. Uh, she's, she is eight years older than he is. Yeah, that's right. I mean, those, uh, those couples, particularly under the spotlight, uh, spotlight in that situation yeah. there. Uh, they they obviously have a, a connection and particularly because they're both in, in the industry, they have the ability to withstand the pressures and, and make their relationship a priority and for it to last. And in fact, Kurt Russell and Goldie Horn have never married. And, and I know I heard a program where Goldie said the secret to her relationship is not being married. So how, what sort of pressure does a piece of paper have. Well, I think uh, I think it can have pressure for some people. Uh, they see it as a step up, and they and they feel a, a, an extra commitment to it. Others will talk to you about it and say, you know, it's it's not something for them. Uh, that they don't see it as uh, something that's necessary to show their love. But at the end of the day, I think it's what the couples are doing on a day-to-day -day basis together that will ensure that they're healthy and happy. I guess maybe a marriage certificate for some people means like it's like a diet. You can't have that, and immediately you do want it. <laughs> the the, the self-destruct mode that you some people kick in, into. Okay, let's look at some of the, the signs in a relationship. You know, and whether you're married one year or, or 30 years, some of those signs that you've got to look for when there's trouble. Well, the easy way to remember this is, is you know, when you think of a couple that you know that are really doing badly together, what are some of the things that you see with them? Mm -hmm. They'll be arguing all the time. Uh, they won't uh, schedule in time together. They'll, they'll probably won't be particularly affectionate with each other. Uh, they'll lack supportiveness and, and you might see them inappropriately flirting with other people. So those sorts of signs. Yeah, I've got to say, they're giveaways. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. And then you'll also see uh, situations where they stop making an effort with their partners, family and friends, or they're not parenting as a team. Uh, they become bored with the routines and they basically put other things before their partner. Okay, well, let's look at the other end. If there are any of those, one or all of the above, what do people have to do and what have they got to think about? Well, I think five, five easy tips here uh, for people to have a healthy relationship. The first is schedule in time together. It's very important, whether it be dropping in at work and seeing them for lunch, uh, eating dinner together, uh, having a date night, make sure you're catching up regularly. The second thing you need to remember is, uh, of course, with communication. Uh, it's the way in which you manage your, uh, your arguments. Uh, the fact that is, is how you argue is a key. Yeah, it, it is. And one of the keys is to listen but don't fix. So when your partner comes home at night and they're telling you and in in venting about all the problems they've got, you listen but you don't give them the solutions. Just acknowledge what's going on for them mm -hmm. and that's a much better way to get through it. Mm -hmm. Uh, of course, it's important to initiate affection and, and prioritise sex as well. So you're getting that connection and you're making sure that your partner's feeling important. Mm. Uh, and then uh, following that, don't forget to share the activities. Now, in this situation, we're talking housework, yeah. we're talking uh, parenting. The day-to-day -day grind. Absolutely, because of course if someone stops sharing, mm. stops uh, helping their partner, they're going to feel like they're not an equal anymore. Mm. And, and the final thing, which is really important that people forget, is that you need to share uh, activities together, new experiences together. So mm. there's a novelty and excitement in it all. Yeah. So rather than going to your familiar restaurant or your normal brunch... Just try something new. Try something different. And it, and it mm. re, reinvigorates the relationships and yeah. you're sharing it for a first time together. Mm. And I know well, we renewed our vows. I've had so many comments about this story yeah. um, th that's in the, uh, the weekly magazine this week about renewing vows. And I've got to say it sparked more interest than 
I in fact ever assumed it would with other people. Well, I think it's fantastic. See, our, mm. our, our relationship survived on he wears the shirt, I tell him to. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a common tip there, Kerry. <laughs> Letting your partner influence you. And oh. he's obviously listening. I've got to say, if it hadn't been for John in the last 25 years, heavens knows where I'd be because he's, he's given me a moderation I never had before. I think it's a great Here's my thing. handbrake. <laughs> <laughs> we have fun though. Hey, listen, Jono, thank you very much. Look forward to seeing you again.